Pecan praline is what we're doing today. The first step is we're going to take 10 ounces of pecans, pop them in an oven at 350 for 15 to 17 minutes. You'll know they're done when they start to turn a little bit darker brown and they have a little bit of snap. We're going to start on the caramel. It's only two ingredients. It's one third cup of water, two cups of sugar. Set it to medium high heat. While we have our caramel on the stove, we're gonna prep our pan so that the pecan praline doesn't stick to it. I use a spray on canola. It won't stick. We're creating caramel with our simple syrup mixture. We're just gonna let this mixture come to a boil. When you see it start to boil, lower the temperature. A fork will tell you when your sugar is ready. We're not quite there yet. We're looking for strings. Pro tip, if ever you start to see crystals forming, just add a little bit more water until the crystals dissolve, lower the temperature, and slowly start cooking. We're looking for a temperature anywhere from 330 to 340, and we wanna see a beautiful golden brown. That temperature is perfect. It's sticking through the tongs of the fork and golden brown. Look at all that good sugar that we worked so hard to get. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. With our praline set up, we're gonna break it off into pieces and put it inside of our food processor and pulse it until we get the consistency we like. What we're looking for is a nice crumble. Now that is some beautiful praline. We'll be making an incredible praline cheesecake. Using a graham cracker crumble, we're gonna be creating the base, adding some no-bake cheesecake, and then a layer of praline cheesecake praline and to finish off our cheesecake we're going to use this pecan praline as a garnish but we want to make it a little bit more fancy so we're going to use some of our edible glitter so classy Look at that. Mm. Now that's a dessert. 